Today, I would like to talk about men's health and men's sexual health, especially in young, young guys. We know for a fact that in Grenada today, uh, a lot of men between the ages of 25 and 70 is impotent or, or is suffering from some form of ED, erectile dysfunction. And I would like to explain to the young guys today what caused you to have these troubles long term. When you drink a lot of alcohol and foods that don't feed your reproductive system, you seem to get ED, erectile dysfunction, long term. Let me explain this to you. When you are 15 or 19 years old, you produce perm every day. Once you get to the age of 30, you do not produce perm every day anymore. You produce perm every three days. So if you want to keep your reproductive health system healthy as a man, you have to look at your age bracket and try to avoid ejaculating on a regular basis. And that is the main cause of erectile dysfunction in men at the age of 30 and up. Now we have 25 year old men, brothers, have an erectile dysfunction. We have guys in the 20s, the 20, 21, 22, suffering from the same thing. So I'm saying that in order for you to regain your sexual health, you have to rebuild back your reproductive system. You have to increase your testosterone levels. You have to keep your heart well, because if you don't have good heart health, you will never ever have good sexual health. If you don't have that blood staying in the penis, you will have what we call uh, ED, erectile dysfunction. Because once there's not enough blood flow going to the penis, how are you going to have a good erection? If you don't have the, the heart pumping your blood through the vessel walls to keep your penis healthy, how are you going to have good penis health? How are you going to have good sexual health? So what we are doing in Grenada and in the world is we are abusing sex. And sex was not made to be abused. Sex was made by Jehovah, God, to be a sacred thing between a man and a woman. But once we abuse it long term, it starts to affect us in a negative way. And for instance, we are finding men in the 40s and the 50s coming down with prostate cancer. Never before. We are finding men in the 40s and the 50s who don't, can't even get an erection. All because they, ab they abuse sex when they were younger. And I'm always saying, whatever we do when we were young catches up with us when we get older. Food for thought. Peace.